Bob Solka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 26th question from the Linear Digital SAT Test 1 Module 1, Math, 26 reads, preach number R, which of the following points lies on the graph of each equation for the XY plane of a given system. So when you have a system of equations, the solution to the system of equations is the intersection point. So what we're doing is we're looking for the intersection point here. Easiest way to do that Plug it into Desmos, unless there, there might be something that you notice here, but it's unlikely that you will notice it, honestly. So actually, you get rid of these. Um, so what are your two equations? The first equation that we saw listed was 2x plus 3y equals 7. Boom, black line, there it is. Our second equation that we saw was 10x plus 15 y equals now 35 but i'm going to put the three in first see i got a red line when i put the five in look at what happens plus 35. it went right over the top of the other line so what does that mean it looks like what we've got are infinitely many solutions meaning the, fir the first equation and the second equation are the same equations let's check it out so how do i get from 2x to 10 I multiply by 5. How do I get from 3y to 15y? I multiply by 5. How do I get from 7 to 35? I multiply by 5. So since you multiply the entire first equation by 5 to get the second equation or divide the second equation by 5 to get the first equation, there's infinitely many solutions. It's the same equation. So how am I going to know when I have the correct answer here? Well, whenever you've got variables and an equation, um, then you want to plug those variables into the equation. More specifically, you've got coordinates here in an equation. Plug those coordinates into the equation. So here we've got our first coordinate, the x is r over 5 plus 7. So I could use either equation and plug r over 5 plus 7 in for my x. But when I look at the first equation, 2 times r over 5 is going to give me a fraction. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to plug it into the second equation because r over 5 plus 7 will not give me a fraction when I distribute that 10. And then I'm going to plug the y part in for my y into that same equation. But again, I'm using this second equation so I don't get fractions. It'll work in the first equation. Probably just a little easier to plug it into the second equation. So 10 and then in parentheses in place of the x is r over 5 plus 7. I could close that parentheses plus 15 in parentheses, negative r over 5 plus 35. Close the parentheses, equals 35. Let's see what happens. When I multiply the 10 by r over 5, I get 10r over 5, or just 2r, plus 70. Plus, when I multiply the 15 by negative r over 5, I'm going to get negative 15r over 5, which is going to be negative 3r. And then when I multiply the 15 by the 35, it's probably a little easier to use Desmos there. So I'm going to pull it up. We have 15 times 35. And we get 525. Equals 35. And so now combining like terms, I combine those two, I get negative r. I combine these two, I get plus 595 um, equals 35. And then when I subtract my 595 from both sides, what I get, and you don't actually have to do this, but what you wind up getting is an actual value for r. Well, since, in, since we have infinitely many solutions here, the solution should give us something like r equals r, or 1 equals 1, or negative 4 equals negative 4. It should be something that is always true, not based on just one part of r. So I'm going to erase what we've got here, and we're going to work it out with the second coordinate. Now, Apparently this is a uh, long process. Here's my x. My x is this whole thing. 
my r is this. Now, what I could do is I could, again, I could plug into either equation. I'm not going to get a fraction if I plug my x into the first equation. Um, if I, and then I plug my y into the first equation as well. So that's the one I'm going to use this time. So now I've got 2 times negative 3r over 2 plus 7 over 2, close the parenthesis, plus 3, and in place of y, I put r equals 7. So now, what do I get when I distribute here and here? I get negative 6r over 2 plus 14 over 2 plus 3r equals 7. And I'm writing it out this time. I didn't last time. Negative 3r plus 7 plus 3r equals 7. If I combine like terms, negative 3r plus 3r will give you 0. What I wind up with is 7 equals 7. Since there's infinitely many solutions, that's a type of solution I'm looking for. B winds up being my correct answer. Now, ordinarily, you do want to check every answer choice. This is a time-consuming process. This is the one and only answer here. Um, if timing is an issue for you, then you might just mark your answer and move on like we are here for the sake of time. Um, if you do have time to check every answer, you might do that out of habit. To see the full length video, check us out. This is a full length video. To see the one minute video, check us out on TikTok. Have a great day. Thank you.